Welcome to ANSYS ICEPAC. In this video, we're going to look at what is ICEPAC, what are some of the capabilities, why is it useful, and who can benefit from using such a tool. So first, what is ICEPAC? Well, ICEPAC is an integrated electronics thermal analysis solution. It can analyze things from single chips, to IC packages, to PCBs, to full-on electronic systems. It provides strong and accurate thermal analyses, including conduction, convection, and radiation effects. ICEPAC has a strong ability to connect to several of the other ANSYS tools, including SIWAVE, HFSS, Mechanical, and more. It even has some capabilities to connect to third-party tools as well. At its core, ICEPAC utilizes the powerful CFD solver Fluent, which is used to solve this conjugate heat transfer problem specifically for electronic packages. Now let's look at some of the questions that might be answered by using ICEPAC. How hot are our components getting? Will we run into signal degradation issues due to temperature? Are our cooling systems optimally placed? These are just a fraction of the questions that can be answered by analyzing your system with ICEPAC. After analyzing, some of the observations that you might make are, here's a hot spot that we need to address. We may need to rethink our material choices. Looks like our fans are actually working against each other. Many of the observations cannot be easily determined through testing. This is what makes design analysis through simulation very powerful and efficient. Now let's look at some of the capabilities. Fundamentally, ICEPAC analyses revolves around typical electronics components called ICEPAC objects. These objects range from things like sources, heat exchangers, heat sinks, to fans, blowers, and more. Here's an example. Here we have a fan object in ICEPAC where we can then define its geometric properties as well as its flow properties. In this case, we're looking at a fan curve, which is plotting flow versus pressure. What makes objects extremely useful is it allows engineers to have a consistent model by which they can iterate until arriving at an optimal design very quickly and efficiently. Let's look at these objects in a little bit more detail. So here we are in the ICEPAC interface. As you'll see, it's quite easy to generate objects in ICEPAC. Things like blocks to represent boards and other objects, to things like sources, which can represent maybe a CPU or a chipset that's providing heat to the model. And finally, you can design your cooling system. In this case, we threw in a heat sink. And again, by changing the geometric properties as well as further properties within its menus, you can change things like fin size, etc. Now, building models in ICEPAC is not the only way. You can certainly import in external model files. In this case, we're just going to bring in an IDF format, which looks at the board and library forms. Now, you can bring in models from ICEPAC from a variety of sources. This is just one example. You can bring in models directly from Workbench through Design Modeler, which has a lot of other capabilities in and of itself. But here you can see that the IDF brought in the board and the several objects that are on it. Continuing on, ICEPAC computes the full flow and includes all modes of heat transfer for both steady state and transient analyses. It contains a vast library of standard electronic components, including data on heat sinks, thermal interface materials, fan properties, and much, much more. These are properties that you will not have to go and search for on material databases or manufacturers' websites to find. They're all existing within the tool itself, which can save time and effort. ICEPAC uses flexible and automatic meshing capabilities utilizing ISIM CFD. Finally, ICEPAC offers powerful post-processing capabilities within itself. Here's an example. Here we have a graphics card assembly where we can look at the temperature values on the bodies itself as well as velocity streamlines coming from the cooling fans below. Now let's look at why is ICEPAC useful. What makes ICEPAC powerful and extremely useful is its specific toolset revolving around electronic components. Instead of modeling a full CAD model using a CFD tool, by converting the individual components to ICEPAC objects, you now have a model that can be analyzed using quick and efficient meshing and solver techniques. The ability to then couple ICEPAC to or from other tools for a variety of multi-physics approaches is extremely powerful. We're going to take a look at one example of coupling here. 
In this example, we're looking at going from SI Wave to Ice Pack. Now, SI Wave is a signal integrity modeling toolkit. As you can see, it's quite easy to initiate an Ice Pack connection. And now, what we can do is we can take our power map from SI Wave and transfer it into Ice Pack. Now, in Ice Pack, the objects are simplified, and all you're doing is you're mapping the power map onto these objects. Once you've done that, you can analyze the thermal and obtain its temperature properties. What's great is you can even go back from ice pack to SI wave to redo your DC problem based on the new temperature profile. So quite easy and very important to do. Finally, let's look at who can benefit from using ice pack. Companies involved with the design, manufacturing, or integration of electronic components can really use ice packs workflow and modeling capabilities. Engineers who need to determine the heat map of a particular system and design its cooling can really use IcePack's parameterization and post-processing capabilities. Anyone that wants to optimize thermal system designs without vastly over-engineering while reducing time to market, reducing the need for prototypes, and reducing the need for retesting can really use IcePack's powerful, quick, and efficient solver. So as you can see, IcePack is extremely useful. What's important to note is that although you have access to advanced CFD and thermal modeling with IcePack, it does not have a complicated user interface and you don't need to be a CFD expert to use it. We hope this video on IcePack was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to jump on our website at padtinc.com or you can give us a call at 1-800-293-PADT.